Hello everyone, this is ASMR if today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you another preset that is for you guys those who are involved in a photography or fashion photography. Let's start the tutorial. So before you start that tutorial and I want to analyze this. So before one was like that, the image was like that and after adding the preset and other stuffs, you are getting like that. So at first I'll just turn it off all the things and I'll show you what I have done. So this one was our non edited image and after adding the preset you are getting this like that and then i added uh, extra light for the ambient fill and then the levels that is the adjustment of the lights and other stuffs and then the layer 3 just i merged this one and the cross processing this one just made the image full fill and ready for the output so if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon Go to the file at first and open up here i downloaded this photo from the website and i'll give you that download link in my video description so after that press ctrl j for the new copy of this layer some of my fans just asked me why i just made this type of another copy so if i add all the effects on this layer so you can't um, just judge the previous one and after one and um, if you want um, to make change this background or if you want to change the thing that is like you want to change the effect you can't do that you have to go to the ctrl z ctrl z ctrl z that means you have to get back like that but if you use these extra layer you can delete this one anytime so you can delete this one you can add this one you can add another things or if you don't like that filter you can delete actually and this one is for the backup purpose so after making this copy of this layer go to the filter and here those who are the user of the creative cloud version you are getting here the extra menu that is the camera filter or shift ctrl a this camera filter i earlier said that this one is the plugins of the photoshop creative cloud version and those who are the user of cs6 or cs version they can install these plugins free of cost and adobe just giving these plugins in their website and i'll give you that website link in my video description so just install that plugins that is the camera plugins that you are getting the all kind of facilities like the light rooms so here are some tools and here's another the settings for the effects and other stuffs and here the before one and after one facilities zoom in and out and everything and here is a small menu you are getting the load settings option that is work like a preset you can just uh, add any kind, of, any kind of preset like that so i made a preset that is the xmp file xmp file for the photoshop that means the camera filter and if you want to make or if you want to use this one on lightroom you have to change the format i'll show that things in another tutorial so just select this one and just open it up it will open up let's see the settings what i have done and this one is a process you can learn from here uh, at first i'll go to the basic op options in the basic panel here just exposure point four five and the contrast i made it zero always i do like that and highlight the highlighted this one that's why minus 42 and the shadow plus 38 and the white is zero and blacks that is like minus 29 so why i have given the blacks that's that's for the like uh, in a rainy day effect you are getting some uh, like hazy type uh, feel in your photography that's why and the uh, clarity don't make it more than uh, 20 just because of it will just um, destroy or low your quality of the image and the variance minus 14 for the saturation that was the minus 8 so and then the tone curve i made some basic changes that means uh, i made the blue color like a little bit up here is two points and green color as well just i just made it up so and the red color i didn't touch that and the rgb i add some grammar how to add grammar so if you lock your 
like uh, line over here and if you just make it like that it will add grammar on your photography so i just made little bit grammar so grammar what does uh, it works like that uh, when you are getting some shadow in your photography and if you add grammar it will make more artistic look in the photography so it's important for the shadow type photography those who are uh, like to like artistic type you can add that grammar so here uh, the sharpening or detail options amount of sharpening 18 and uh, radius 1.0 and detail 25 and luminance of noise reduction this one is a noise reduction panel uh, when you are getting some grain or noise in an image you can deduct this one but don't make it more than 50 so here i just made it 38 and the luminance detail 50 i didn't touch that it was default and then the main thing is the hsl hue saturation and luminance hue that is the color palette you know that and the saturation how strong will be the color and the luminance how light or how luminary will be the color that means if i add the red color the red color focused on the audience so here i made the hue zero of the red i didn't touch the red so here yeah in a luminance i'm giving here 14 and then the orange minus 21 and the saturation of the orange plus 57 and the luminance of the orange plus 22 so here the yellow i made the hue plus 47 that is the little bit greenish type yellow so that's why and here i just uh, add the saturation i just down the saturation actually minus 79 the yellow saturation and the luminance i made it 73 plus 73 and then uh, the aqua green green let's go to the green green hue is uh, same and the green luminance i made it 79 so aqua minus 14 and zero of the saturation and luminance i made it 25 and here the blue hue i just made it 19 and the saturation and luminance is same and in this panel i didn't touch that and here the purple color plus 38 and magenta that is 44 minus 44 and luminance i didn't touch that blue purple and magenta so that's why i'm just getting this type of here is the highlight and shadow uh, this tone or split toning is like that um, highlighted area in this highlighted area which color will be prominent these just located this for portion that means um, here i use the, the hue that is the 170 that means like aqua blue middle of the aqua. saturation will be like that and then the hue of the shadow that means the shadow area will be prominent like this color that is the 279 297 that is the hue and the saturation 10 and now i didn't use the lens correction the effects and now i just added some the camera calibration that is like the color correction those in the camera calibration panel i'm getting the three primary color that is the red green and blue rgb color and those are the primary red color i just made the hue 80 percent and a plus 18 and the saturation minus 62 and the green plus 70 and the saturation 14 and the saturation i down the blue primary color and the shadow and i just make it like 15 so this one is the basic settings of uh, the settings this preset that is a rainy day or gloomy or uh, like moody whatever you can tell so hit the ok button adding that let's see the before one and after one so after adding i just um, i will add another light over there it will make more fulfill so here is some lights that is the warm light and i just made the ambient like that so take a new blank layer and go to the color palette and take a light color you can pick up the color from here yeah that's fine and then go to the brush and select first one brush and pixel of the size size of the brush 20 pixel and hardness 0 percent make sure that the opacity and flow 100 percent and the mode is normal click once and press ctrl t you have to make it more bigger like that so i'll make it more bigger 
okay that's fine and hit the tick button and then go to the blending mode and make it soft light yeah it will make more sense of the ambient and now i'll just make the fill that is the 66 or 70 percent yeah that's good and now i'll just make it group and make it merge and after merging that i'll go to the filter and nick collection nick collection that is the collection of effects actually so if you want to download and set it up the nick collection please check out my video description i'll give the download link over there and you can install these plugins any kind of version of the photoshop so from here i'm using here the cross processing and here is lots of method and which method you want to just give or add in your photography it's up to you i think b10 is good and you can adjust the strength like 19 percent and hit ok it will take time to load it up and give you the final output of the photo so it's taking time yeah yeah that's fine so if you need you can change the fill color like that so the before one was the normal image but after applying and I follow my steps you are getting this type of artistic look of the photography which one can give you another step on the next step or next level in your photography level so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and if you need to download the plugins and other stuffs please check out my video description and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel until the next video i am ASMR is signing out today bye bye